Hello, you beautiful people. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps up my channel and turn that notification bell on because you don't miss any of my future videos. <laughs> don't know what that was about. Um, if you don't know by now, I'm uploading back on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So make sure you check back on them days for new videos. There might be bonus videos in between, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to stick to my upload schedule this year and then do like YouTube shorts in between as well. So yeah, just make sure that notification bell is turned on and make sure you follow me on TikTok as well because I'm going to be uploading so much more content on there. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing my what I got for my 28th birthday. Like, it's only 28. <laughs> And you know what the funniest part is? For my birthday night out, <laughs> Laura's dad came and picked me up because Laura had had a drink already. She'd been out with him during the day and had a couple of drinks, so she couldn't drive. So her dad came and picked us up, right? And we're like, oh, we need some booze for our pre-drinks, so we'll pop Tesco on the way like, to Laura's house. We literally went into Tesco. I had my ID, but Laura didn't. <laughs> she left her purse at home. And they refused to serve us. Laura's turned 28 in October, and obviously I was just about to turn 28 <laughs> a few days later. And I was, and I was like... It's me buying them, but because Laura didn't have a, her ID, they wouldn't serve us. And bearing in mind, the girl that was serving us was 18. And I was just like, I'm 10 years old. Like, we're 10 years older than you. Like, we're, we're nearly 30. Like, there's no way that we don't look over 25. <laughs> like, obviously, she was just doing a job and she was really, she was like really polite and it was fine. But the funniest part is we had to go back out to, <laughs> to Laura's dad's car and be like, can you go inside and buy us some booze? Because we, we can't get served. So at the ripe age of 28, I had to get my best friend's dad to go inside Tesco garage to buy us two bottles of Cali Minogue wine <laughs> for pre-drinks for my 20th birthday. How crazy is that? So yeah, that was just hilarious, like absolutely hilarious but yeah anyways I thought I'd show you what I got for my birthday I mainly got money for my birthday to be honest so I don't have like loads to go through so I thought I didn't actually get a chance to show you this bad boy so I got the budget box version like P. Louise advent calendar so I thought at the end I'll show you what I got inside here because it wasn't really like a birthday present to myself I actually had saved money aside to buy the P. Louise one but when it came out the price of it I just couldn't justify it and this was just so much more of a reasonable price so I got this one instead and I am not disappointed. So the first thing from Blake is these trainers. I am obsessed with these. I've already worn them quite a few times already but these are like a nude like TNs. <gasps> oh, I think they're beautiful. This is my second pair of TNs. I definitely showed my other ones in a video before. Um, if I can remember which video it is I'll leave it linked down below. But yeah, I have like a more like orangey, nudie, like caramelly kind of colour. And then I have these ones which seem to go with so much more. So yeah, I've wore these. Quite a few times I actually wore these on Christmas Day as well. Also from Blake, he got me these like kind of like high waist shorts from Farina. Is that what you said? I don't know. I've never owned anything from them before. Um, and I got the size 12 in case anyone is wondering. He's left the price on. <laughs> They were $24.99. So yeah, that is my short. And like, I wouldn't normally go for anything like this. Uh, I just wouldn't feel comfortable. But these, like, these ones like suck you in. They're nice. They're real nice. And then he got me a surprise present of this. I've never smelt this before. And when it came, oh my God, it smells heavenly. So this is the Fame perfume from Paco Rabanne, I think it is. Yeah, Paco Rabanne. Pack or Raban. Um, the bottle of this is so cute, and I'm definitely keeping this tin because it's gold and beautiful. So it comes with the 80ml perfume and then also comes with the body lotion as well. The perfume is so cool. Like, look at that. It's so fucking cool. And then it actually sprays out of the middle of the sunglasses. It smells, I'm gonna put some kind of perfume on today. It smells so nice and so long lasting so I, I put a top on for Christmas day put my perfumes on and then I started getting anxious and stuff so I was like I don't like the texture of it I need to take it off <laughs> so I changed my top and the next day I thought oh I feel a bit more like calmer today I'll put that top back on and um, put it back on and I was like oh this smells unreal I wonder what washing powder I've used and then I clicked on it wasn't it was this I could still smell it on my top the next day how unreal is that it just smells oh, like fruity but 
sexy freewheel. That makes sense. Oh, it smells so good. And then obviously we get the body lotion in there as well. And this is a hundred mil. I'm not really like a big one for if it's going to focus because it's white. Really puts off my camera. Um, I'm not really a big one for body lotions, but for that smell, I'll be getting my use out of that. 100%. So yeah, absolutely buzzing. And we didn't think it was going to come in time for my birthday. So Blake actually showed me what the surprise was. Um, he asked me if I wanted to know and I was like, yeah, please tell me. And then literally an hour later it came on my birthday itself. So yeah, absolutely buzzing with that. And because you know, he'd never smelled it before as well, he literally just bought it based on the description on the website. And it's like one of the maximum strength, like strong perfumes on their website so no wonder I could smell it on my t-shirt the next day so from my mum um yeah for my mum she gave me money um for my birthday and then just so I had like something to open which is so sweet but she actually gave me a nomination charm so I wear this bracelet like every single day it did used to be on this arm but I got an apple watch for Christmas and I'm left-handed so I put it on my left hand um so yeah I've put my nominations charm on the right and then this is the charm that she got me I don't know you can see that it says daughter and it's like got like a, a gold plate on it and um, that has like daughter and um and carved engraved engraved <laughs> and carved you know engraved on it um so yeah really excited to be able to put that on with my trophy <laughs> charm so i always said like to laura if i got any charms for my nomination i'd want the majority of the charm to be gold because i don't suit silver so i'd want the bracelet to remain gold my mum didn't even know that and she got me that so that was so really sweet of her i bought myself some little things for my birthday because i just couldn't resist so i got a couple of things from charlotte tilbury so the first thing that i got is the beautiful skin sun kiss glow bronzer so it just looks like this and I got the shade medium number two and this it looks so nice I did a little swatch and it literally looks like the perfect colour for me as well I don't know you can see because of the reflection oh my god it's massive as well like this is absolutely huge 21 grams and so I don't know if it's a lot or not but it feels massive because the components are so huge that's what it looks like doesn't really smell of anything. Oh, that perfume smells unreal. I can keep smelling it. But it says in the back, humidity proof and sweat proof. It's meant to boost hydration by 136% in one hour. So, yeah, super excited to finally be able to try that. And the other thing that I tripped myself to, which is so bougie, because it is literally one eyeshadow and it cost me, like, I think it was 20 something pounds, which is ridiculous. But this is the hypnotizing pop shot individual eyeshadow and I got the shade diamond eyes because for me this would be like my go-to one like it would go nice with like the little look that I've got on today so this is just what it looks like the packaging is beautiful and then the inside oh my god it looks heavenly I've seen so many people do videos using these and yeah I'm just super super excited to I don't think I've swatched it I haven't. Should we swatch it together? Oh my god, it feels unbelievable. It feels wet. Stop. Oh my god, that is stunning. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Fuck it. Fuck it. I've actually got a mixture of highlighter and... Oh my god, that's stunning. And the iconic London, like, liquid... Like in the little, I'll show you it, it's behind me. It's like in a little component where there's like an eyeshadow cream on one side, which I didn't use the side, but I used this liquid side and just kind of dotted it on my eye with like a fluffy brush and it's beautiful. And I've just got literally got a bit of bronzer on my eyes as well. That is stunning and that individual shadow is sexual absolutely sexual and I, I just know that I'll get so much use out of this individual shadow that was the only reason I could justify buying it because it's expensive for one eyeshadow so yeah that was my little happy birthday present to me and you got a couple of samples as well I got the magic cream sample and a magic serum sample so that is what I got myself from Charlotte Tilbury and then my dad knew that I was getting an Apple Watch for Christmas so I asked him if he would get me some straps for it so I sent him this link and it was literally like I think it was something like £13 and you got all of these 
um, it was on Amazon, so very, oh my god, my hair's amazing. If anyone wants a link, pop me a message on Instagram and I'll send you the link for it if anyone's looking for really affordable Apple Watch straps. Um, yeah, because you get this many. <laughs> you get absolutely loads, like £13. Yeah, that is my Apple Watch straps off my dad, and then my dad gave me some pennies. Um, so I just got it saved for a special occasion. I got a present off my um, friend slash patron, Danny, which was so sweet of her. And she actually put a little note on the Amazon thing saying, Happy birth, miss because it's like a joint birthday and Christmas present. Um, you sexy little thang, love you, from Danny. I love you too, you sexy little thang. And this is adorable. So it comes in like a little red pouch and then when you open it up, it's a silver bangle and then on it, there's a little Lion King symbol. And then it has a little thing on it that says, remember who you are. I'm sorry, but that is, so thoughtful and absolutely adorable. I don't even know if that's gonna, yeah. So, so, so thoughtful. Silver, unfortunately, doesn't suit me, but this would not be something that I would wear anyway. This is something that I will treasure and keep forever. I have like a, a necklace that says like 20, 21 on it, and it's like a silver one that my auntie got me. Um, it's like obviously my 21st birthday, and I've, got, I've kept that in my, this is my jewelry box. Yeah, don't know if you can see. I've had like a little change around that little corner of my room. Um, yeah, all of my like really, really sentimental like jewelry that I wouldn't ever really want to wear it in there just in case like I lost them or broke them. And this will definitely be going in there with, with them. It is so thoughtful and honestly just warms my heart. Thank you so much, Johnny. That was so sweet and just yeah, I just love it. And then the other thing that I got, oh, actually, I forgot there's two things in here. I got a present from Flip's mum. These I cannot wait to put in my ears now that I'm showing you. So um, it's some Ralph Lauren, Lauren earrings. And obviously if you watch my channel, you know I always wear this um, little earring set that I got from Anna Louisa. I was gonna say Suiza then. <laughs> my brain was like, that's not it. And yeah, I always wear this little like hoop with a little pearl drop and then also like the pearl stud. Um, I worked with them, uh, I think about two or three times now. And these are my favourite pair and I literally wear them, I sleep in them, I go in the shower with them on. And they never literally come out unless I want to have like a little clean of my ears. But these are gonna go so perfect. I really hope I can sleep in them comfortable because I can sleep in these and forget that they're in. But how gorgeous are them? Even if it's like just for like special occasion when I want to like go for like a bigger hoop and more sparkle and a pearl. Oh, I just love them so much. Yeah, this is just what they look like. And yeah, I cannot wait to finally be able to put them bad boys in my ears. And I just thought it was so thoughtful because obviously I wear my pearls all the time and it just goes naturally with my earrings. So yeah, thank you so much. Because sometimes I go out on a night out and I wear like, like when I went for my birthday, I wore like sparkly hoops because I had like a sparkly bag, sparkly shoes on. And my little pearl earring just didn't go over a little stud, whereas I can wear these and jazz it up and look more like done up. But I can still keep my little pearl hooping in it still. Well, my little pearl stud in it still goes perfectly. So yeah, that was my present off of Blake's mum. And then, last but not least, I got a present off some of my friends. Um, you all know who you are. Don't need to say names. Uh, and it list literally came like 8am on my birthday. It was literally like perfect timing. So it came from Space and Kate. It's bougie ours. Like they must have paid for gift wrapping or something because this was bougie ours. It literally came with a dust bag. Wow. <laughs> um, and then inside, oh, I actually got spoiled. So all my friends went together and put towards getting the, the Vive 90s palette. <gasps> oh, and I obviously have the other two. I don't think you can see them there. No, they're like on my top shelf. I have the other two Vive palettes and I just couldn't justify getting this one. I just wasn't sure how much I'd get my use out of it, but now that I have it, it's, it's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. And I love this kind of colour on my green eyes as well, I feel like it really makes them pop. And then this is just what it looks like. Yeah, I'm honestly obsessed. I haven't even swatched it or stuck my finger in or anything because I just, I just think it looks so beautiful. But yeah, cannot wait to try this. Let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on that. And thank you so much to my friends for getting that for me as well. Yeah, I am well and truly spoiled and so, so, so thankful. So yeah, that's everything that I got for my birthday. And I'll show you what is in 
that Pay Louise budget advent calendar and what I got in mine because you've got different colours and different calendars so I'll show you what I got and sometimes you've got different products so um, let me show you okay so in the calendar it kind of like it was a mess when it came everyone's just been like this like it wasn't structured it was like all just in there I'm assuming because when I picked it up you could hear it all moving I'm assuming when it's been in delivery they've just all been mixed up and whatever so all of the boxes have like different numbers on them so let me just get them all out and let's just go through it in any order because yeah why not <laughs> it's not an advent calendar unbox i'm just showing you what i got so the first thing that i got is the don't sleep on me the final strawberry lip sleeping mask and i'm so happy that i got the strawberry one because strawberry is definitely up mastery and my favorite so yeah very happy for that or day number six or nine whichever way around it is again really happy with the color that i got for this one this is the fallen line double ended eyeliner and I got the shade Cup of Coffee on one end and Custard Cream on the other, which I think is so funny. Um, but yeah, it's basically a nude one on one end and then a brown one. I've just turned my brightness down on my camera. Let me know whether it's too dark now or not, just because I'm playing around with this new lens. But yeah, this is the obviously the Fallen Line double-ended eyeliner. But I think that's why it was taking so long to focus, because it was too bright. Anyways, so yeah, moving on to day number seven. This is the one that when all my friends started getting theirs, no one else had the same thing as me. They had like a totally different product. It was like a lip drip that they got and I got a bullet lipstick, which if you know me, that's a bit of me. So this is the Remy Kissing Matte Lipstick in the shade Always Yours, just like this. And then the color, even just like the actual imprint on the lipstick is so cute. This is just what it looks like. Yeah, that, that light was definitely making my autofocus go more slow. That's crazy. So yeah, that is the lipstick that I got, which is right up my street. I'll definitely be getting my use out of that bad boy. For day number eight, I got a wet and set, which I might actually end up selling, to be honest with you, because I know I'm not going to get my use out of this. This is the shade Cherry Cola, so I'll probably sell this maybe in my Patreon groups or on Depop, I don't know. This is just what it looks like. I'm not going to open it because, like I said, I'll probably end up selling that one. For day number two, we got, we've got an eye cream for this one, which I'm excited to try. This is the Give It A Rest Eye Cream. It just looks like this. Again, I haven't opened any of this because I was like, I'm going to do a video unboxing the full advent calendar. And then I was like, clearly I'm not because it's like the end of the year and advent calendar season is gone <laughs> so next thing that i got is the rise and shine hyaluronic acid serum and yeah that's just what it looks like again haven't opened it properly i'm gonna do a full face of p louise on my tiktok i think and then oh my god this one i got an unbelievable shade for so this is the um day number five and this is the skin bling highlight powder and i got mine in the shade white wedding i'm sorry but her packaging is unbelievable i can tell there's been oh is that my finger that really hurt that really 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 hurt ah. um anyways <laughs> thank the lord i'm getting my nails done on tuesday because that really hurt Whew. i got such a nice color in this highlighter as i was trying to say but yeah the packaging you can just tell that there's been so much thought and so much love put into them and then this is the shade white wedding and yeah this is just what the shade looks like that's like a little swatch of it <gasps> that's stunning a little swatch of it there compared to the shout till breen um, eyeshadow beautiful yeah definitely this feels like such good quality packaging so that's definitely going to get some use from me oh yeah so for day number three we have a liquid blusher this is the cheek of it liquid blusher and this one is in the shade raspberry ribbon which just looks like this oh my god so this one this is day number six or nine depending on which way around you hold it there was two different types of eyeshadow palettes that you could get so it literally looks the same but the color story inside is different and i got the color story that i preferred um alex got this one but carly got a different one and i was like oh my god i hope i get the same as alex's and i did so this is the it takes two palette and then the inside just looks like this and then it has little lights on the inside on the mirrors which is so cute and then this is what the actual palette looks like so 
yeah, we have like four mattes and then four shimmers in here. This actually, to be fair, would be a really good travel palette because you have like a nice selection of like nudes in there. So yeah, that is the eyeshadow palette. And then last but not least, we have a date number four, which I love because it was a lip product. Um, so this is the Duo. This is the lip kit. So you get a lip liner and a lipstick in here. Like I said, the packaging is honestly stunning. And I got mine in the shade Stripped and Berry there. When I opened it, I thought, oh my God, this looks like a red. Like the strip looks like it's red, but it's not. Oh, I forgot to say as well, like the inside of this is like furry, like soft just feels expensive so yeah this is the little duo that i got we've got the hiccups all of a sudden and the stripped one is literally like a perfect lucy lip liner color and then i'll show you the i'll show you the lipstick as well i'm sorry but is that not just not perfect oh my god i've got the hiccups and then that is it next to each other like that is literally going to make a beautiful absolutely beautiful lip combination so yeah I'm really, really happy with that. So that's everything that I got in the advent calendar. Like I said, I will be doing like a full face of MU, of MU, of P. Louise makeup over on my TikTok as well. I will probably eventually share it on YouTube as a short, but yeah, please, please go follow me on TikTok because I'm going to be doing a lot more content on there. Um, I'm going to be doing three videos a week on my YouTube and then I'm also going to be trying to upload as much as possible on TikTok, aiming for like every day if possible. But yeah, there's definitely going to be different content on there to what you see on here. So I'll see you in a video very, very soon. I'll be back on Friday and I'm going to be doing a Black Friday slash Boxing Day sale haul. And I got a lot. I've got a lot of shit to show you. More P. Louise, more Mitchum. What else have we got? I'm just looking at my little pile. Doll Beauty. Oh my God, I got so much from Doll. I got quite a lot of stuff from TikTok. I've also got some Be Perfect stuff. I think it's Love Cosmetics and Glitters. I got some of them. Yeah, I've got absolutely loads. So I'll hopefully see you on Friday for that video. If you don't know as well, I have just uploaded on Monday, just gone my What I Got For Christmas video. So I'll leave a link down below in case you want to be a nosy bugger and go have a look to see what I got for Christmas because I know I love videos like that. So yeah, I'll see you on Friday. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>